Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says the police will be enforcing the regulations and maintaining order under the temporary regime. This as the authorities have been receiving complaints about noise nuisance. Parliament last week amended the Noise Abatement Act to allow for events to take place until 2 a.m. during the week and 4 a.m. on weekends. This temporary amendment will end on January 31. Speaking on RJR's radio program Beyond the Headlines, Mr. McKenzie stated there was a meeting on Tuesday involving stakeholders to decide the next step following the holidays. He said since the amendment to the Noise Abatement Act, persons have been voicing their complaints about some events. One of the complaints was made directly to Mr. McKenzie. You know, that matter for the security forces, I, I saw two comments um, in the paper. I was just going through my email and saw one uh, coming from someone which it, it seemed to be a, a constant problem that that individual is having. But, but the, if the truth be told, they can do better with the, with the volume. And the government is prepared to do what is necessary to ensure that there's compliance. The local government minister also suggested that the situation is being abused by others. There, there seems to be some misgivings and some, some people in some quarters have taken the extension that has been granted as a passport. Passport to do things that is not about nice abatement. And Mr. McKenzie says another meeting is scheduled for Thursday with the stakeholders in the entertainment industry. The meeting is, is, a, is, a long, is, a, is for a long term to look at other factors, to look at the entire situation as to how we go about this thing and to, to put, get the kind of input. Because what was done was just a temporary measure and to look to see after the extension what will happen. And I think it is, it is wise to start looking at that now and not wait until the, 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 the time expires. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.